CEO Ronica from Creating a Difference. I want to talk to you about why do bowling centers even use a lane machine to apply oil to the lane? So what I've got here is a lane that's been bowled on, and it's actually uh, set for about a week. If you kind of look at the oil, you can actually see like the dirt that is accumulated in the oil. You can see that in the in the reflection of the light there. But the dirt, the debris, it just kind of accumulates over time um, if you don't keep the lanes clean. Now, we have a league in here that bowls once a week, and the lanes have not been cleaned since that league bowled. So the lanes are fairly dirty. Now, here's the other thing. So the reason why there's oil on the lane in the first place is because the oil is a protectant to stop the lane, the physical lane, from getting tore up. So typically, uh, oil is applied to the first uh, 30 to 40 feet, more than likely, and then it kind of dissipates. And you can kind of see, if you look at the reflection, you can see the reflection is not as good there. And as soon as we get to right about here, it's very good, which is showing you the oil is in this area, not so much in this area. And the reason being for that is because as you get toward the end of the pattern, you want the lane to be kind of dry to give you some performance. Uh, your bowling ball to hook, and you want that hook to be able to get your bowling ball uh, to hopefully get to the pocket. So that's my machine telling me to hurry up. Uh, so you can see also there is still little strips of oil down here, and that's called carry down. That's actually what happens when you're bowling and the oil gets carried down from one part of the, uh, the lane, which is down there, to this part of the lane where it's dry. And that's the reason why it's important uh, that bowling centers clean the lanes. You, know, you don't want to have this stuff just kind of hanging out on your lane uh, in little spots, the spots and, and parts because that ultimately will make the lane uh, inconsistent and a little bit tougher to bowl on over time. Plus, you're also depleting that oil from where it's needed most, which is down there at the beginning. So what you do is you get you a nice uh, expensive, these machines range anywhere from about twenty to $30,000 and you actually get you a lane machine, and you use a lane machine to apply, to remove the old oil, and to apply new oil when needed. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this machine actually ready uh, for league for tonight. We have two different lane services as I talked about before, but you see it's the same issue. It doesn't matter the service, you can still see a lot of that dirt and debris physically in uh, the pattern, and that's not gonna be good for consistency either. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go ahead and get our, our lane ready uh, for the league tonight. We're actually gonna bowl on a pattern called Wall Street version two, and we're going to strip and re-oil the lane, both. So we'll go ahead and hit the start machine, which will get the pump going. Make sure the pump begin to put, get up to its pressure like it's supposed to. We'll actually get the lane machine physically on the lane. like so, and then we will allow it to go down the lane. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna strip and oil at the same time. So we're actually gonna be able to see, you can look at, look at this now, look how crisp and pristine the lane condition is um, as it's being applied. So it's doing both. It's actually gonna strip off the bad parts and it's gonna apply some fresh oil. And that fresh oil, which is in a specific array, believe it or not. It's called a pattern. And that's going to allow us to be able to bowl on a good pattern. And you can see now, the lane's dry down here. Whereas before it wasn't dry, now it's dry. Which is what you want. None of that carry down, that's all been removed. And the lane machine will come back to where it started. And we'll go to the next lane and oil it. But that's what's happening. And we're actually putting oil on the way up and on the way back, both. Because that is how we get the type of pattern that we're looking for. Now you can't really tell that there's any difference with the pattern here, but there definitely is. And this is why your bowling center puts oil on the lane. It actually protects the lane and it allows the lane to be a little more playable. You can see a little bit here where as we get closer to the gutter, there's less oil. And as we begin to move in toward the center, there's more oil. And that's showing you some of the pattern that's actually out there. And that's what we use to be able to, when you miss to the outside portion, 
there's less oil, more friction, ball hooks more to be able to come back to the pocket. And when you miss in the middle where there's a lot of oil, the ball goes longer and goes straighter, which allows it to also hit the pocket. So now you have a little bit more information about why the bowling center oils the lane. And you can tell the difference between a lane that has been freshly oiled and a lane that hasn't been oiled. If you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.